So now we move on to Act 3. When Act 3 begins, we see a key, Q-U-A-Y, that is a small harbor where boats take passengers in front of the Egyptian palace. And uh, it is the east harbor of Egypt. There is also a west harbor. In the east harbor, island of Pharos and uh, we see a Roman sentinel that is a Roman soldier on guard duty standing there facing the sea the soldier is looking at the Pharaoh's island, especially at the lighthouse. In the last act we saw Caesar and his army starting off their march to the Pharaoh's to capture that island. This island was very, a very tactically important place for the Romans. For two reasons. Number one, if all the Roman soldiers have to go back to their country in an emergency, it is through this port that they have to leave. Number two, if the Roman soldiers need support of more army, more soldiers, it is through this port that the Roman soldiers have to enter Egypt. So Caesar's cunning mind has already assessed the importance of this port. And that's why in the last act we saw Caesar deflecting the attention of the Egyptian soldiers towards the west port where the famous Alexandrian library was on fire and all the soldiers marching off to that place to put out the fire. Now as the soldier stands there, the sentinel stands there on his duty and the sentinel has a pylum in his hand. Pylum is a javelin, a weapon used by the Roman soldiers. And now you see this sentinel standing there with this pylum in his hand. At this time, Fatatita, followed by a few porters carrying bales of carpet and a young man called Apollodorus 
who is a Sicilian man coming from Sicily. They are going to the Queen's palace. The Apollo Doris is a dealer in tapestry, carpets. He is a young man. He very easily gets angry. And uh, he is actually a famous seller of carpets. So famous that most of his clients are queens and uh, such uh, royal people. So now we understand that the carpets are being carried to the palace of Cleopatra and as they enter the place where the sentinel was standing the sentinel does not seem to notice them but then unnecessarily Apollodorus calls his attention uh, to the fact that they are passing by and the sentinel is not doing anything, not trying to stop them. He makes fun of the sentinel by saying that, is this how the Roman soldiers behave? Is this the discipline the way the Roman soldiers behave? This behavior, these words by Apollodorus is very surprising. He was unnecessarily inviting trouble. As the soldier was looking at the sea and had not noticed either Apollodorus or Patatita. They could have easily passed by the sentinel and reached the palace. But Apollodorus already called the attention of the sentinel, not only called the attention, but he even poked fun at him uh, by saying that is this the discipline of Roman soldiers. Naturally the Roman soldier became duty conscious and uh, he said my duty is to watch the tower but uh, as I have now noticed that you are trying to pass I command you to stop there and then there is a quarrel at first the quarrel is very very slight, but then later, as a result of Apollodorus, hot tempered nature, the quarrel gains momentum, and then both Apollodorus and the Sentinel get ready for a fight. The sentinel has the pilum in his hand and Apollodorus draws his sword. And our Fatitita encourages Apollodorus to fight 
this he she calls the sentinel roman dog she instead of trying to make peace between them she pours oil into the fire so the sentinel calls for help and the other roman soldiers who were nearby rush to him led by a roman officer that is a centurion is the name of the uh is the title of a roman officer so they come towards this sentinel um uh, apollodorus and fatidity now they try to avoid the fight and uh, the officer even scolds fatidita and asks apollodorus if she is his wife and then apollodorus says with a horrified look on his face he says no no and uh, that would mean how can you imagine that this horrible woman can be my wife but then he immediately mends his words because he thought that fatidita was or may be offended by his words he says no 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 what i meant was this woman is charming enough but she is not my wife so then fatidita says she is the mistress of cleopatra and then the roman officer the centurion allows them to go into the palace and they are getting ready but at this moment cleopatra seeing fatidita as come out of her palace and she is running towards the and when fatidita sees this she asks the porters to hurry up and to carry the bales of carpets to the palace without losing any time so that cleopatra may not get any time to reach the beach but fatidita was rather late by this time cleopatra has already approached her she asked for a boat she says i want a boat fatidita says she is horrified she says you are a queen how can a queen travel in a boat a boat is meant for common people to travel a queen must travel in a barge 